I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this one because I'm a damn idiot. <laughs> Hello everybody. I need to do a little shout out video for the Eagle. It's D E Eagle. And I don't know how he pronounces it, if it's D E Eagle or what, but I call him the Eagle. <laughs> uh, he's having a hundred sub giveaway. You guys need to go check him out. Uh, him and his little girl make uh, videos and he teaches her stuff. And that just tickles me to death to see that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going out here in the woods here by the house to get, I'm going to gather some uh, fat wood. Let's see here now. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. Uh, there's where I cut one off the other day whenever I did my little knife video. And if you just find these crusty old pine trees like this that has limbs, dead limbs that are far enough down, Chances are you cut one of those limbs off and you're going to find some fat wood. So, let's see, there you go. Okay, so I'm going out here to see if I can find some fat wood and use my new saw. Okay, use my new saw. We got. Uh, the Baco Laplander in its new sheath. And then I got my old trusty SCHF 42 on me. I wouldn't go in the woods without it. And that's about it. We're gonna we're gonna go find some fat wood. And whenever I find some down here, I'll go ahead and turn this camera back on and let you see what I found. Okay. Okay. As you can see. This is just an old pine tree, and it's got some low-lying limbs here. And if you can cut that limb off close enough to the trunk, usually you can get a little fat wood out of it. So I got my Baco Laplander. I can smell it already. Look at that, like butter. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let's see, let me turn this around here. Okay, yeah. See that? See how rich it is? Oh, that smells so good. Now, I don't need this whole limb because there's probably only going to be sap, you know, down around in here somewhere. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off before I go packing it home. Let me take this other little limb off and see if it's got anything in it. Not, not great, but I'd say that'll work. Okay, so let, I'm going to look around and see what else I can find here. Okay, so I got me two little pieces of fat wood, and I'm going to look around some more. Okay, here's a little pine tree that is broke off. It may be too dead. too dead too dried out already can't win them all you see all these limbs depending on how dead they are they may have fat wood in them that there I don't know if y'all can see that it's that the sun's going down so it's not exactly bright out here but you see how pretty that is 
Oh, smells good too. There's the one end that I showed you, and here's the other end. You see how light and white that end is, and how much darker this end is? So that means that that resin's probably going to end right in there somewhere. But what I'll do is I'll split this down and find out for sure where it's at. See that or not? I'm gonna have to trim it off, son. Okay, get a better view of that. There you go. See that now? And you see how white the other end is? That means that that sap's gonna end in here somewhere. And what you do is you split it down and you can see where the sap ends. Whoo! I need to do more of that. Okay. And that is the Baco Laplander. And of course I made a sheath for it. I can slap it in there when I'm looking around the woods and so that's my fat wood hunt for today and my shout out to D.E. Eagle I call him De Eagle Whew. need to go check him out he's got a lot of good videos out there and I love watching him teach his daughter. So there's just nothing like a dad getting out there, or a grandpa, and showing the youngsters how to do this stuff. Because, you know, I ain't saying it is going to happen or whatever, but, you know, we have a grid down situation or something, or, you know, anything could happen. These poor kids are not going to know how to take care of themselves. So... You get out there and you teach them the silly stuff about building fires and finding food and hunting and fishing and making shelters and all that. You tell them, you teach them that silly stuff. It may save their life one day. So I appreciate y'all watching and go check out DE Eagle. Of course, there will be links below. So y'all go check out DE Eagle. He's having a 100 sub giveaway. And. Mr. Eagle, if I win this drawing, I would like to pay it forward to Sufficient Survival. He's a new channel. Well, he's an old channel who's changed to a new channel, and he needs all the help he can get, okay? So everybody go check out D.E. Eagle, 100 sub giveaway, and there you go. Talk to you later.